Okay, I'm back from a holiday and I'm gonna show you a few stretches that I did to help keep my back and my hips from getting sore and hopefully these will work for you. Now, when you go on holiday, you tend to sleep in different beds, hotel rooms, maybe even if you're camping, you're sleeping on a thin mattress which is not very supportive and that, if you do that for a week, can give you a really sore back. So it's key when you're on holiday and when you get back, do some stretches to try and alleviate that stiffness and pain. Now, first thing I started working on was some thoracic extension because I got really sore here. So both sides of my thoracic spine, and it wasn't necessarily something I need to sort of strengthen. It was just because I was in a different position for a long period of time, needed to do some extra stretches to sort it out. So when you're away, you don't really have too much equipment. So what you can do, especially if you say you're camping, is you can use a bedroll. Now, if you're not camping, say you're staying in a hotel, just use a big bath towel. And what you do, roll it up really tight. This is really simple stuff, but there's a little bit of a twist I'm gonna do on this one. Try and roll it into a tight enough roll. Now we're gonna do some thoracic extension, so some arching over it. But what I want you to do is put it on about a 30 to 40 degree angle that way. Okay, so it's rather than it being this way and you just arching over it, what I suggest you do is get it on a bit of an angle. Now what that will do is help you stretch one side more than the other, because maybe you would say, hey, it's just on one side you've got a problem but it'll also get some of the muscle on one side a bit more stretched out. So you still stay this way, but when you go backwards, you'd go over and it gets one side more than the other, okay? So the other good thing about this, if it's a soft thing like this, or a towel, it's a bit more forgiving. Those big hard foam rollers are pretty full on. Now, if you're a bit sore, you may find a softer one gives you the opportunity to go backwards and stay there for a little bit longer than usual and really help stretch that out. Just be careful you don't do too much of that. Maybe sort of 10 seconds up to 20 seconds. Come back, do three or four of those. Then you might sort of move down, wriggle around, try and find another spot that you feel tight and go backwards. And you can change angles and directions over that, but just make sure that you're really working on one side of this rather than just straight through the middle, which will get you thrust. You can still do that, but I find the angle is really effective for those thoracic components, because remember, the thoracic spine does a lot of rotation. So having it on an angle will get one side and rotate through one side, especially those segments, which is really, really helpful. And you do that sort of every day. It doesn't have to be more than once a day, but every day it's really helpful to try and alleviate some of that pain. Okay, the second one is rotation. Now, this stretch will get your thoracic and your lumbar. Because when you're on holiday, sometimes it's the whole back that's tight. Okay, and that's very generalized, but doing a generalized stretch actually helps. So what you'll need is something that's solid that's not gonna move. So maybe that's a sofa or under a heavy chair or something like that, or even just a pole you can hold onto. Because that'll keep one side down. So if I'm gonna do sort of rotation to the right, so my ro I'm rotating my lumbar spine sort of to the right, which will mean my thoracic sort of going left, I can put my left hand under that to lock it down. So that could be a sofa. I could put my whole forearm under that if I want to and lock it down. That'll keep my upper body this way so I can stretch. now. What I tend to do is bring both knees up, slowly take them over, rest the head, and let that go slowly over. Because remember, you might be quite tight, you just got to take it easy. And the other thing too is you want to keep all this down. Now this will give you a bit of a pec stretch as well, which is quite good. But see if you can keep the elbow and most of that hand way over there, locked down over there, which gives you an opportunity to then, with this arm, pull that down over here, which is going to give you that stretch right through sort of thoracic, around your rib cage, through your spine, through your lumbar, and then into your glute like this. Now this one, what I tend to do, is it needs to be a relaxing sort of breathing out stretch. Very similar to our thoracic rotation stretch. You just got to hold this there for about one to two minutes. Just stay there, breathe it out, as long as it's not too sore tight, if you know what I mean, you're trying to alleviate the pain, not trying to create more pain. Just work on resting and letting it go. Then you will have to do about one or two minutes each side. It's a bit boring, but when you're on holiday, you usually got a bit of time. So you can spend some time doing this in the morning before you start your day to get you looser so you feel better. Okay, and again, it doesn't have to be more than once a day. You can do it more than once a day, but usually just once a day in the morning is enough. But 
I would do two or three each side, okay? So just like going over the roll, we do sort of doing two or three or four. This one, two or three each side. So that's two or three minutes each side. So what I would do, your first one, is work on what we call hip flexion external rotation. So we're talking about the hip, but I'll explain a little bit before about what we're going to do. I've done this many times before, but when you're away, usually you're a bit sort of stiff and sore. I would use again a support like this. So this could be your chair, it could be a sofa, it could be your bed, right? So the edge of that is you lean on that, okay? So you just rest on that and it makes the stretch a lot easier, okay? Originally, people do, tend to do the stretch like this and they find themselves it's very hard to hold themselves up. So if you can lean on something like this, okay, maybe rest on there, you can just sit there and relax and just stretch. Maybe you're watching the news in the morning on TV, doesn't matter. But with this stretch, you're actually aiming for the front hip. That's what you're stretching. But you'll notice the back one is also getting stretched as well. So the front, it's, we're aiming for flexion. So when we do the stretch normally for, say, sport, we're aiming to improve our flexion. For this sort of episode, we're just trying to stretch out the tight areas. So what I would try and do is still work on keeping that knee going outwards, meaning external rotation. So you're trying to go outwards with that knee, even pushing it out to the help. So if you're leaning on that, maybe just push it out a little bit, okay? And that'll give you a bit of a groin stretch through here, all right? And you're trying to drop your pelvis to the floor. You're trying to suspend yourself. So that's why it's good leaning on this, like your sofa, leaning on your knee, so you can just sort of stay there and stretch it out. But the back leg, you'll notice a hip flexor stretch. So think of hip flexion range in here, getting a bit of groin, a bit of hammy. Hip flexor muscles, so psoas stretching on the left hand side or the back leg if you like and you can just stay there for as long as you like but i'd probably cap it out at two minutes so between one and two minutes is probably a good mobility length of time um, and the other tip i want you to try and do if you if you're okay with this sort of stretch is try and squeeze the back glute okay so if you squeeze the back glute you'll get a bit more inhibition of the psoas and a bit more stretching in the front so you'll notice that little trick is quite helpful to get more stretching here okay obviously do both sides. You just turn around, do the other side. And again, similar to the rotation one, work on one to two minutes, two times each side every morning while you're away. Now, the last one I want you to work on is for the glute. Now, this one, again, use your bed. You want to make it easy for yourself. The pigeon stretch is really hard on the floor, so a lot of people try and do it on a table, which is a lot easier. So what I would do is go for, say, a bench height of that. Could be your bed, Okay, it could be something else, sort of a similar sort of height, could be your sofa in the lounge. What you do is put your foot sort of parallel to that, okay? Now, with this one, you just gotta get yourself back into a position to start with, okay? Now, you'll probably find some people, that position there is hard enough, okay? You'll probably find, oh my goodness, that's really tight. You may find getting down in this position is really, really difficult, okay? So, Perhaps if you're super tight through your hips, start with that. If that's giving you enough stretch through the back here, so you should find it's a deep glute muscular stretch through the front leg. So this is my left leg through my front leg. Again, rest yourself on here, okay? Support yourself so you can just hang there. Obviously, I'm putting a bit of weight through my back leg so I can help with that. What you're aiming for from that position, if you can handle it, is you're trying to drop this back leg down and trying to drop... The front knee forward so the front knee is going closer to the bed at the same time the back leg's going down so i'm going down to this position here okay so i'm still supported here i've got my arms to support me so i can just let the whole body relax and stretch and go as far as i can that way deep as i can and through there okay this is probably the most difficult out of all those four stretches but it's your last one so by the time you get to this you're probably a little bit looser you may find you can actually do that now that will loosen you up right through here and again trigger you a bit more release through the back so there's my four for your sort of holiday camping style stretches to do during and when you come home see you next time